Good morning. <laughs> 8.21 and we are at the Goodwill in Tulsa because they have a 50% off clothing, clothing only. So once a month. Oh, they no, do it once a month? That's a lie. Oh, once wow. a quarter. Once a quarter. So we're going to go see what Regina can find. I'm going to look in the knick-knack, bric-a-brac, paddy whack. And if I can't find any there, I'll go film her finding clothing. We'll see. We're going to be super selective because our honey hole in Arkansas is way better deals. But we're going to go see what we can find. So wish us luck. Regina's enjoying a nice burrito from Salad and Go. And I'm going to eat mine before I go in. So that's that. Move it that way. Here's the here's the size. So that puts it in perspective. And then here's what the inside looks like. So it's just bacon, egg, potato, potato, cheese. cheese. And then they give you this thing of salsa. I don't think we've ever shown these actually. This is three forty nine plus tax. So I'm gonna scarf this down before I go in. I think next time we're just gonna share one and maybe get yeah. something on the side. But it's yeah, huge. it's humongous and filling. But I've been eating oatmeal and apples or bananas all week, so this will be a treat. All right, we're going in. Uh, so we'll see how the cart situation is. Parking lot's full. Nicest people at Goodwill. Yes. Uh, we're at the 50% off sale. This is my Aunt Deb, and so she's going to show us what she got. For the grandkids, another Nike. Half off. Half off. Yep. Uh, for the state. Some hockey. Hockey. In Oklahoma. In Oklahoma. Oh, another hockey. hockey. That's Vegas, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Lots of sports shirts. Get up here. Worth it. Holy moly. <laughs> So, Regina's over there somewhere, but it's busy. Did you have any problems getting a cart? No cart. I almost bought those. I, mean, yeah. I, I looked at them like, I'll ah. sell them to you. <laughs> no, I don't uh. want them. Anything else? Yeah. What do you got? Well, show me. I want you to tell me if those are. I have most of those. Oh, do you? Yeah. But I pulled those are up they for you ones? to look at. Are they old? Whew. It's cold. It's cold. So the pro tip is getting here before they open, or they opened early. So we got here before the normal hours. So I'm gonna go real quick and show you what I got. Regina's in there still thrifting. Um, this is cold, so I'm gonna go fast. I got this O Cedar, um, brand new. Hardwood floor mop, that was six bucks. That's for our home use. This vintage, I think it might be Lodge, um, cast iron uh, skillet for $8. Vintage uh, George Foreman grill. Supposedly it's new in the box. We'll see, I'm gonna open it up, it is $8. An art toaster, seven bucks in the box. We'll see if it's really new. Sirius XM Delphi uh, satellite radio adapter for inside of a car was $2, well bought. These two Louisiana bun tea dispensers for like a restaurant, those are 10 bucks a piece. This is a wrap that just, uh, just sets on there, so I'm gonna peel it off, clean them up, and list those on Marketplace. 
and then two sets of pint glasses that were uh, 99 cents a pair. I can get them out. Budweiser, Bud Light, OU, Oklahoma City Thunder. So that's what I ended up with. I totally spent um, $57. And I think I can sell one of these and pay for the whole haul. All this says on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to double check these while I'm still here and see if uh, they are what they what I think they are. So I've had pretty good luck when I buy stuff that's taped up in the box, like this George Foreman grill, um, to, you know, that they're not just um, put in the box and it's used. So I just untaped it and it leads me to believe that it is brand new in the box. The paperwork is still right there in place. So what I'll do is probably, um, yeah, it's, it's brand new. It's, it's new old stock though. Everything's yeah, in there just like it would be. So I may take it out of the box for pictures and just let everybody know that it's brand new um, with the original paperwork in the box. So that will help this sell. Would I have bought this if it was used? No, um, but it was $7 or $7.99 and it's brand new in the box. So I'll, I know that it'll, it'll sell for profit. Now we'll try the um, Cuisinart toaster. All right, the Cuisinart toaster looks like it's been an open box and I'm not sure. Um, looks like there may be a few crumbs in there. It's definitely been out of the box. So I'll get this out of the box and look it over. All right, so it's got some fingerprints and stuff on it, but it looks uh, in good shape. It's definitely been out of the box and maybe plugged in and used once or twice and returned probably. Um, so we'll test it. We can take it back up with up to a week uh, and make sure it works. And um, so we'll have to sell that as an open box, like um, maybe pre-owned. I'm not sure. We'll test it and check it out. I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I think it's still a good buy. So it was seven dollars, six ninety nine. Um, so there's no paperwork, but I'm not sure that there is one because there's a, there's a a uh, code here that says scan for directions and user guide. So I guess it it can still be sold as new open box. I'll just make sure it's super clean because um, I, I think it's probably what it is, new open box or maybe a floor model. We are now headed to our second Goodwill of the day for the 50% off sale. Um, this Bixby. one is in Bixby, Oklahoma, so right outside of Tulsa, and hoping that it won't be as cray cray as the last one. So um, we got lucky on the last one. Well, we got there early. They open an hour early, and I don't know if people realize that they open that early. And yeah, then it just got crazy by like 9.30. It was pretty crazy. Um, so our Goodwill, I can't remember if we said this earlier, but only does this quarterly. We did say that. And they only do once a month a 25% off sale. And they don't do any kind of um, color of the week. They have not done that since they closed for COVID. So since they reopened, they don't do that anymore. Basically, we today pay the prices that really you should be paying on any other given day, I feel like, makes it. And it was only 50% off clothing. Clothing, yeah. My kind yeah. of junk was still full price. Yeah, Tom's knickknack stuff is full price. So it was clothing, shoes, and like accessories, scarves, hats, that kind of stuff. So, uh, all right, we're almost to the next one, so we'll see how we do. Arms hurting? <laughs> Drifting arm? <laughs> 
Goodwill in Bixby, Which and there's the stop. PJs we go to. I've never been there. By we, I mean me, Michelle. Oh, uh, okay. I think I've been there before. Kathy's. Yes. Um, okay, anyway, we left the Bixby Goodwill. It was crazy. But, I mean, the line was to check out was insane. They had three cash registers. That one. It, the setup's wrong. Yeah, the setup was crazy. It went fairly yeah. quickly, but I'm not kidding. This, the line wrapped around the store. So. The whole perimeter. Yeah. All the way around. It was crazy. So now we're going to go by the Salvation Army. They are not having a sale today, other than their furniture is half off on Saturdays. <clears throat> um, but we're just going to go pick through some stuff. I haven't been here in a long time. Yeah, yet. Tom hadn't been over this way. The day to go to this one is on Wednesdays. <laughs> Our stuff is clothes and knickknacks, so it's 50% off on Wednesdays. So, uh, yeah. But I've found some good stuff here before. I'm trying to be very choosy about what I get. And I watched McThrifty the other day, McThriftsies the other day. And one thing that she said, and I try to do this, but she just reminded me of it. When she was going through her car trying to decide what pieces she was going to keep she was like am I excited about getting this listed like does this excite me and she said if it doesn't then she's it's gone she's just not going to mess with it leave it there for leave somebody it. else yeah. so this is something else I've been trying to do and obviously price I uh, price size and you know style and if it's just something that I'm not real crazy about or excited about then I'm like I'm not going to mess with this so all right, we'll see you at Salvation Army. There she goes. We're going to go to the Salvation Army and see what we can find. Hey, it's Tom with Funky Little Studio. Welcome to Funky Finds Friday. Actually filming this on a Saturday because I went with Regina today. The, our Goodwill here local in Oklahoma was having a 50% off clothing shoes, accessory sale. But I wanted to go ahead and go with her because I knew I could probably find some stuff while everybody was focused on the clothing. Um, Regina handles the clothing, shoes, accessories, purses, anything like that for the Funky Little Studio. I handle all the other random stuff. I call it knickknacks, bric-a-brac, random acts, junk. Anything I can make a dollar or two off of. So I'm gonna show you what I found today on this super Saturday sale that we went to. We hit, we hit, we hit two Goodwills and the Salvation Army. I didn't find anything at the Salvation Army. Um, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you don't mind and hit the like and subscribe button, or there's two different buttons, I guess. Subscribe to our channel, please. We appreciate that. And also hit the like button if you don't mind and leave us a comment so we know who's watching. All right, so at the first Goodwill, we actually ran into my Aunt Deb at the first Goodwill, so that was fun. She was there shopping. First Goodwill, I'll start off with that. I'll try to keep this in order as best I can. Was this George Foreman grill. Um, brand new in the box. Uh, I did check that once I got to the car, but it's got the sticker on it that if it was not working or something, I could take it back within seven days. It's the electrical and mechanical um, sticker, but I'm sure it is working. It's brand new, all the paperwork's still in there. You have to watch the other video to see me open it up to find that out. That was uh, seven, yeah, like I said, seven ninety nine plus tax, so I figured like eight eighty. Um, this Delphi FM Direct adapter, like an XM Sirius satellite radio adapter, for a dollar ninety nine plus tax. It had decent comps. Pick that up. Um, what else did I get there? This toaster. Well, let's do this one. Let's get this one out. Right. This. I think it's a Lodge. It's made in USA skillet. Now, I'm debating on whether to clean this up or just sell it as is. Uh, it's made in USA. It's an 
SK8 or a D8. I don't know if you can see that on here. Um, I've seen them sell unrestored and I've seen them sell restored. I've never restored one, um, but I've watched some videos on it. So this is my first time to decide what I want to do. Uh, $8, so $9.99 plus tax. I couldn't decide whether to pull the trigger on these, but I went ahead and did it. They need to be washed. This is Oklahoma City Thunder and Center Sports Network pint glasses. These are Bud Lights. Um, they were taped together for 99 cents, so I picked those up. Actually, I got four of those. These two are a little different. These are Budweiser, and these are the same OU Sports, Center Sports Network. That one's a little rougher than I thought, but I think they're still fine. These probably were at a bar, probably in Norman. I don't know. But for 50 cents a piece, I know that they'll sell eventually. Not a huge profit, but we'll make a profit on them. Uh, this toaster. I'm trying not to say um. This looks like it's brand in the box, but when I opened it, it has been opened and possibly used. But for seven bucks, I picked it up. Yeah, the box is dented. Maybe it was a store model or something. The packing foam is still in there, but I'm pretty sure it has been out of the box and plugged in. So I'll test it. I have a chance to take it back if I need to. So um, if not, <clears throat> I'll clean it up and sell it as an open box item. I always try to the Cuisinart stuff. Uh, I have good luck with it. So a lot of stuff I part out, but it's a good brand and it, it does well. Then this is going to be probably a Facebook marketplace sale. I got two of these for uh, $9.99 a piece and this Louisiana Louisiana iced tea thing is just velcroed on there so you don't have to have that on there if you don't want it it could just be a stainless steel um, tea dispenser commercial like from a restaurant super clean I'll go ahead and wash it and clean it up I'm gonna list both of those on Facebook marketplace they're made by bun and for 10 bucks I couldn't pass that up Move that out of the way um, what else was there from that place that may have been it. Am I forgetting something? I think that's it. Okay, so then we went to another one in Bixby, Bixby, Oklahoma. And uh, it was chaotic, mainly because the line was so crazy long around the whole perimeter of the inside of the store. So a lot of the stuff I wanted to look at had people waiting in line. So I really couldn't look at it until I got in line. So I was making some loops, just Regina was finding clothes. Um, and I did find some stuff. Several of them I found while I was in line. So the first thing I found was this. I think this was my deal of the day possibly. This is a gold collection by Dimensions Eagle, um, what do you call it, Needlepoint, I think. It retailed for $39.99. I got it for $1.99 plus tax. It had some decent comps. So that's one of those things I think that will sell no problem. I picked this up just because it's cool. I probably paid too much for it. A gourmet chop and slice. I think it's basically new in the box from what I've, I haven't taken it totally out, but I just kind of glanced at it inside. Still got the paperwork and everything. Just a retro 70s vibe to it. And I know somebody will like that for their, if they're enter, entertaining or want it at their home bar or something like that. I know that will sell. I think it will. I don't know. I don't know that it will, but I think it will. And then this item is a mini drip Hamilton Beach little miniature coffee maker. I already peeled the sticker off it. I can't remember if it had the electric and mechanical sticker on it or not, but I'll test it. I'll get it cleaned up. It's vintage. I don't know exactly how old it is. It's a model number 784, but it's made in the U.S. Sheesh, I forgot that. Glad that didn't break. This little plastic lid was included, which goes right there you put the water in so for four bucks yeah I'll take a chance on that just because it's cool okay and then this uh, orange beach Alabama flags pirate flags Stein it's in excellent condition just needs cleaned up it has a $29.99 retail sticker and looks like it was marked down to $14.99 I give a buck 99 for it plus tax yeah it's cool it's heavy and I think, you know, it may take a minute to sell, but for $1.99 when it retails for $30, I think I, think I can do all right on that. Uh, okay, so the rest of the stuff I picked up, I think that was it. 
The rest of the stuff I picked up while I was in line. Um, first one being these Ikea little picture frames that go on a shelf or a tabletop. I think a lot of people use them at weddings for place setters or put uh, fun pictures in them. So there was five of those for a dollar a piece, 99 cents a piece. I'm gonna lot those five together and make it one listing. That'll be easy, 20 bucks at least, I think on those. That was, I picked up a, <clears throat> while waiting in line. And then this doorbell was $4.99, brand new in the box, a Heath Zenith, Heath Zenith wired door chime. Uh, didn't see any sold comps, but there was a couple listed. And so for five bucks, I think we can sell that for decent profit. And then last but not least, this was another item I picked up while I was waiting in line. We've got an older one of these out in the garage that I haven't listed yet, but this one's a newer 2004 edition of Mall Madness. Have you guys seen this game? Keep an eye out for it. They have good comps, so I'm going to check and see if everything's there and decide whether to part it out or sell it complete. The other one's a lot older. Um, Regina remembers having it, I think, or playing it. Um, I think they've remade it. We bought one for a good friend of ours at Ollie's and gave it to her for a fun birthday gift last year. So that's gonna wrap it up for my little Funky Finds Friday haul. It shows you a little bit of everything. I think that is everything that we found, that I found. Regina will have a separate haul video. I don't know if it'll be a standalone video or if it'll be a part of our out thrifting um, video. So we've got lots of videos to get edited. So hit the subscribe button. I'm way behind on editing. I know it's been over a month, I think, since we put a video out there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you're finding out there. What do you thrift to source, to sell, to keep? Oh, I, there's one other thing. Let me grab it real fast. This was from the uh, first O oh, Cedar Makes Our Life Easier uh, hardwood floor flip mop. So for six bucks, we're going to keep that here and use it on our um, laminate flooring but I don't know how much it retails for but it's brand new and we could use it so that was it thanks for watching we'll see you next time be safe out there it works